it's Holly and today I'm bringing you an Animal Crossing video because I don't do enough Animal Crossing videos but I really should because I love Animal Crossing. So this is Animal Crossing New Leaf Life Hacks. Avoid bee stings by pressing start and then save and continue when bees drop and go after you and it'll completely refresh everything and you don't have to worry. If you aren't quick at avoiding bees and you just want to shake trees and get furniture and bells safely, then go to your gate and leave it open because bees and beehives will not spawn when visitors are welcome. Go to the island and catch as many rare beetles as possible because there are 40 slots in the like going home box and on average the rare beetles sell for about 10,000 each, that's just on average. Um, so in one trip you could earn up to 400,000 bells and a trip could only be like an hour long if you get really really lucky. Send your villagers letters with fruit attached, and I mean your native fruit, because not only is this good for your relationship and your um, citizen satisfaction, but it's also really good because you might get a non-native fruit back and then you can plant it and then you can sell the fruit and you can have like this amazing orchard of beautiful fruits. Like I have an apple orchard and it's really cool. Never pay for flowers. Now, you guys know that when you go to the island, you do get to go on these things called island tours, and basically you'll be in the map and you have a certain target and a mission to do, um, but things like the bug hunting tour, there are so many flowers. Um, obviously you can only pick up 12, because that's how many um, spaces there are in your inventory, but you'll never have to pay for flowers again because then you can just deposit them in the box and then pick them up when you go back to your town um, from the island. Um, the only problem with this is that if you don't buy flowers from Leaf, then you don't end up getting the silver watering can, which can be really, really useful. So I'd say get the, buy the 50 flowers first and then go on to getting them for free. Because um, you want that silver watering can because it can, like, you can water uh, five flowers at once, so it ends up being really good, especially if you have a beautiful town ordinance, it just makes it so much better. Okay, so this is a pretty old but gold trick to making money, and uh, it's like, and I'm not sure if everyone knows this, like I don't know if everyone does, because when I discovered it when I was like 12, I was like, oh my god, this is the best thing ever. Um, so it is apparent on all Animal Crossing games so far, um, and that is to plant a money tree. Now, the money tree, you might be asking, uh, what is that? It's basically where you plant a certain amount of bells and then a tree has the potential to grow and bloom into three more sacks of bells. Um, so for example, you can bury uh, 1,000 to 99,000 bells and depending on how much you bury, like, it depends on the success rate of the tree. So if you, if you bury 1,000, you have a 1% chance that that tree will bloom. And if you if you bury 30,000 bells, then there's a 30% chance. Um, and yeah, so essentially, the maximum you can get from all the trees are 90,000. So it's best to deposit between 30,000 and 50,000, just so you're sort of making enough profit. Um, you don't want to be planting 90,000 because you're just going to get exactly the same amount back. Um, so it's best to plant like 50,000 because then you have a 50% chance and most of the time I find it it just it works. And then you end up getting 90,000 off and if you plant them multiple times, obviously you have to have more money to start with but you end up getting a lot more back. Which is really good for those really highly expensive mortgages. Like, oh my God, they're so expensive. If you want a beautiful town, do not run in your town at all, especially on the grassy areas. Now, most people don't know this, but if you run in your town, it wears the grass down and there's no way to get it back, so don't do that. Only run if you have to, and run on the beach. You can run on the beach, and on the bridges, and on the bridges. If you have your hair done by Harriet at Shampoodle 15 times, then you do get the option to also have male haircuts, or like, 
your opposite gender haircuts. Make sure you go around your town every single day and hit all the rocks with a shovel because you do have the chance to get up to 16,000 bells and a special ore. Okay, the last one. This is my favorite one because this is like, I swear, maybe other people do this, but I discovered this literally on my own and it's because I was feeling very greedy and very like, I want more money. Okay, I always feel really bad for this. I don't know why, but I feel like I end up feeling really awful, but hey, it's a game, whatever. So you guys know that um, you can sell stuff at retail and also at um, like Nookling Junction or like the Nookling Twins. But I say the best way to sell things like furniture and um, like fossils and stuff that you don't want to keep is to put them up for um, sale in retail. You know, like the flea market, that side of it. Now, the trick is, obviously, you want to inflate your prices. So, to be honest, with everything you put on the flea market, it will give you an estimated sort of how much you should be getting for this item. So, say you put a fossil down and it comes up with 3,000. You can decrease that, you can increase it, it doesn't really make much difference what you do. Um, obviously the cheaper it is and the best value for money is it's going to sell quickly and it's going to sell when you're not there. But what I have found is, okay, inflate the price like four times, okay. So say if I have a 3,000 bell fossil I will put it up for 10 or 12,000. Um, you might be thinking, wishful thinking, but so it probably won't sell when you're not there. You know how sometimes you go back and something is sold and you're like, oh, that's really cool. No, this probably won't happen because you've inflated the price too much. But if you go in every now and again, um, you know that villagers go in there and they often buy stuff. Um, the trick is basically you want to push the villager in the direction of the thing you're selling. So <laughs> say if you have your fossil and they're like walking around here, you want to push them towards it and make sure they only stay in this area. Um, they won't turn around and say anything to you because you're in a shop um, and then all of a sudden, I mean it might take a little while and sometimes it doesn't work but I find most of the time it works, they'll turn around to you and be like, hey I'm really interested in this holly and I'll be like, oh that's really really cool and they'll be like, should I buy for 12,000 bells and I'm like, yes and then ka-ching, you've got it, you get the money there and then, um, happy days. <laughs> I know it's kind of mean, but that is honestly what I do. Um, but yes, I hope you really, really enjoyed this video. Um, please give it a thumbs up. I love Animal Crossing. I always play it, and I don't know why I don't do more Animal Crossing content on this channel. Um, but I think I'm going to start, because Animal Crossing is just, is just a beautiful game. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you all so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!